Hello, Armor Upgrade Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play the Story of Blue Cloud with me, Blue Angulo. With the Terraria adventure maps and all that stuff, you know the drill by now, I believe. Um, so yeah, welcome back, folks. I, uh, I did some cleaning up and some thinking off camera, just figuring out sort of how I want to do things. And I did a bit of grinding for Dark Souls, so I'm up to 34,000 again, mostly just by running around killing, you know, shadow stuff. I did it sort of in the last dungeon in places I've already been to. Anyway, I spent some time considering sort of what I wanted to upgrade. And I think I finally decided that I wanted to do actually one of each. Now, some people have commented before that the Cobalt Breastplace and the Cobalt Breast... Cobalt Armor plus uh, Souls gives you the, uh, the Black Belt Armor and that's really good. And I was like, yeah, that sounds fair. And um, for melee specifically. And uh, I can use... Mithril and Adamantite for either Archer or Magic at this point. So I'm going to actually sort of test some stuff out, although I want to make sure that I've got the right hat. Uh, no, wrong hat. I want to use... Actually, I don't know if I have the right Adamantite helmet. That's the physical one, isn't it? Yeah, shoot, I don't actually have the Magic Hood yet. Oh, that wrecks all my plans. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on doing a uh, the magic adamantite set because I really want to switch to some magic stuff and doing ranged with mithril. But, uh, well, there is one way to do it. I have some adamantite bars. I'm not 100% sure if I have enough. i got to make the red hood, whatever they call it. There probably is one in the dungeon I'm currently working in. Um, but, uh, I don't know. They give you a bit of adamantite probably for this exact purpose so you can sort of fiddle with what you want to use, what you want to craft. Maybe. Mask. Where is it? Pretty sure what I want is the hood. Oh, do I already have it? It's got this one with the wings. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do anything rash, Blue. Don't do anything rash. Um, back to the armor slot. Yeah, I don't have the one with the wing. I do have the one. Never mind. That's the one I was looking for. I thought this was the melee one, but no. This is the magic one. Good, good. Genji helmet gives you magic damage. And then I'll be able to get uh, all the all the stuff. Okay, so that's the plan. Don't need to use my precious adamantite. Um, so I am going to make one of each set. And then I'll be able to play around a little bit with magic and ranged. Even if I can't have the best of each set. So I figured that'll be fine. So let's go do that. Oh, I don't have to worry about dying anymore from falling like that. So much nicer. Oh, look, there's an enemy that I ran right through. That'll teach him. Alright, guys, so, um, what I was gonna do, upgrade, let's do first the Black Belt Gi, if I have the right stuff, yeah. So, very, very low defense, but incredible melee stuff, apparently. That's, that's what they say, anyway, so, I'll craft one up. Black Belt Gi top. Black Belt Gi pants, alright, so... I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but there it is. I'll give it a shot at some point. Now, with the Mithril Armor, I was going to do the Mirkwood set for sort of archery type stuff. Yep, ranged critical and all that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hope I have the right hat for that. I might have brought the wrong Mithril helmet. It's fairly likely I did do that, actually. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, we, can, we can do one more backtrack. Anyway, the armor is going to be Genji for magic armor. So, hope you guys don't mind. That's what I decided after thinking about it for a while. I mean, Fighter and Archer of Lumilia. There's so many awesome looking, so much awesome looking stuff. But uh, I just decided uh, to go with that. Now, unfortunately, I did bring one of the wrong helmets. Of course. Couldn't get it all right on my first try. Of course not. Uh, magic? No, range. I want the range one. Let's go back down one more time. Don't worry, we'll get to some action before long. So I'm kind of using up all my souls, but uh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Now, the reason I decided to go with the best magic set is mostly because I was looking at some of the magic spells, and they look awesome. I really don't want to miss them, so there we go. So we've got the Mirkwood set, the Blackwood, Black Belt set, and the Genji set. Now... Which ones I'm going to use to do the dungeons, I'm not 100% sure. Let's go have a quick look back in town, see what they do. Oops, no, 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 not yet. We'll go here later. Ah, come on, game. Pick it up. Keep using... I hate that sort of pause glitch when you're in between animations and you open up the menu and throw your item down. It's kind of dumb. 
Anyway, so we're going from the blue armor, which is sort of like the water plus melee, I guess. Um, it's not bad, but I'm not doing any water levels right now. It gives me 40 defense altogether. If I switch to black belt, and then reopen it, yeah, down to 11 defense. So I've got almost no defense, but I should have more melee, possibly. I actually don't know if this is going to be better than the blue armor right off the bat. I might be doing, I might be a little bit faster. I mean, you have to look at the exact stats. I don't want to waste too much time, but it's got lots of life regen and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll keep it around and um, it's possible you can upgrade it to even better armor. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we might do that as well, just to have a, an awesome set like that. Uh, I know I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you because I'm not super excited about the uh, black belt. I mean, this looks pretty cool. Shadow Ninja Mask. Look at all that stuff it gets. No fall damage, no knockback, firewalk, rapid pick speed, water walk. Wow. That comes with an awful lot of stuff. <laughs> that is really cool. But you get no life regen. That's interesting. All right. Well, we'll think about that later. Um, so that's that set. Now, the second set I'm going to show off is the Merkwood set. So this would be if I want to use my Mega Shark to absolutely massacre stuff. Um, let's see. Let's go pick up a Mega Shark. In fact, one of the things I've been meaning to do is upgrade one to like super status. Uh, so I've got, I believe, two Mega Sharks at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to craft both of them. I'm always going to keep one Mega Shark around because just the default Mega Shark is so good. Now, reforging it could be quite expensive. Yeah, full platinum just to reforge. Wow. Well, I got Unreal on my first try, so I'll keep that. <laughs> Unreal is pretty good. <laughs> that was lucky. So anyway, this puts it at 31 damage by itself with critical and all that. The armor set should give it more range damage, critical chance. Gives me a little bit of life regen, less chance to consume ammo, or higher chance to not consume ammo, if that makes sense. <laughs> so um, what you could do is pair this up with like the crystal bullets and probably massacre any boss in the game or at least any boss I've seen so far. Uh, let's just pick up some normal bullets just to see sort of what it does. Let's just bring some musket balls just to go waste them. Let's go see how this looks. Yeah, you know the old mega shark. I mean, it's 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 the mega shark. Let's go kill some stuff with the mega shark for a minute just to see how it feels. So we've got something to compare to once I do my magic set in a minute here. Okay, yeah, so I've got this one down here. This is where I was kind of uh, grinding away for souls earlier, so let's just zip over here. Now, it's not going to be nearly as OP using normal bullets. Um, I think crystal bullets are really required to get the most out of this kind of weapon. But, I don't know, I think this is going to be pretty powerful if I wanted to do ranged. If I could hit, yeah, there you go. So, and again, this is also with no accessories. I could give myself ranged accessories as well. Or, um, like the archer potion to do more ranged damage. So, I don't know. It's pretty good. Pretty cool. It might be not the best armor set in the game, but... I want to kill that, um, worm thing. They give me a lot of Dark Souls. They got a lot of HP, too. <laughs> Still, the Mega Shark ranged combo is always fun. And yeah, this is this is with the worst bullets there is. Imagine this with crystal bullets or something like that. You know, my spear probably did more damage, more DPS than these bullets, but... It's ranged. Ranged is nice. Nice and safe. So we'll finish this guy off. There we go. Yeah, you get like 900 souls from those guys. Very nice. Worth your time. So anyway, that's that's if I want to feel like being a... Sh if I want to use bullets or whatever. Uh, let's head back to town. Doo -doo -doo. And then we're going to check out our magic set. And I want to kind of switch. Oops, I did it again. Uh, I want to see how the magic goes. So also, we're at 15 defense with this thing. The magic armor gives us 35. So that's actually not bad. That's a respectable amount of defense. Plus lots of mana. I mean, I'm up to 360 mana. Um more mana regen, more magic crit, more magic damage. And there's a couple things. Remember way back there was a guy that there was a wizard that we freed and he said to upgrade his hat. 
So we could create a equipable wizard's hat worn as an accessory for even more magic damage and more mana. That could be really nice. I've got sorcerer emblems. I don't have quite enough Dark Souls right now, and I didn't feel like grinding out for everything, but uh, that's an option. If I feel like going magic, and I think I will at some point, I'm just going to switch to full-on magic mode. Um, but what I really want to test out here is this wild gem box, dual cast a spell, plus you can upgrade it to <laughs> the Celestial Celestriad. Well, that's a little bit crazy. So it makes it one mana to cast spells, but it does require some crazy stuff. Um, yeah, 400,000 Dark Souls. So there you go. Um, there's some cool things to look forward to. Now, let's go put my armor away quick and pick out a couple spells. Put my Mega Shark away. It's not so Mega. It's it's really the... Well, it, it is Mega. It's the combo with the Crystal Bullets. I don't know. If you haven't comboed it up like that before, it's hard to explain. Uh, okay, let's just put these away quick. Black Belt. Sorry for all the inventory stuff today. I just... I wanted to get my armor dealt with sort of quick, and then uh, we can get on with the show. Okay, there we go. Cleaned up. And we'll put that away. Sure. Now, magic. Um, one of the things I was looking through was the spell tombs, because I think it, most of the base spells come from the spell tombs, other than like the upgrades to bolt two, three, four, like that, which you have to do manually. But we can see here there's lots of spells, and some of them look really awesome. Like there's these little spirits um, that I could actually start working on right now. That it looks like you upgrade them and they get bigger and more powerful as you sort of upgrade them. Uh, a health spell that heals, I could go with that. Um, black and flames, I could probably craft this up by now with Fire Blossom and Souls of the Night. In fact, I'm, I would just need the Dark Souls right now, 65,000. Um, Starfall sounds like a pretty uber spell. Um, but yeah, point is there's quite a lot of stuff here that I'd like to try out. Flames of the Night. 60,000. Wow, these things are so expensive for Dark Souls, but I think I might like to try some of those out. And besides, even if I don't have them, my spear is still really good. So I can focus on the magic, and I've still got my 90 damage spear. It won't be as good without the melee set, but, I mean, I think it's still... It's not as fast as it used to be, but it's still a good spear. So that's that. Um, right, I want to try dual casting. How does that work? I've got, well, Celestial Storms. What happens that? Is it firing like two per one now? I think a single click is firing two of them. Let's try a more obvious spell like uh, the Flame Lash. That should cast just normally one bolt of fire. Yeah, there you go. So we're getting two bolts of fire per click. Is it two for the amount of mana as well? That's actually quite nice. If I'm getting two castings for just the regular casting cost. So it normally costs 10 mana. Yeah, it just costs exactly 10 mana. Awesome. So dual casting magic. Yeah, that's what we're going to try out. Um, I got some mana potions. I don't know what the best spells I've got right now. I've got a demon side. Demon sides are pretty good too, to be honest. Well, double demon side. I don't. Know. Hmm. Slow, slow firing. It's. I guess they do a lot of damage, but maybe they're not really my style. Probably crystal storm will be the best. Oops, opened the wrong box. And, uh... Cursed Flames... Well, Cursed Flames is a hard mode spell. So that's a good one, too. Firing two at once. Oh, I bet you that would do a lot of damage. Wow. Being able to cast them that fast. Yeah, 43 per hit. Crystal Storm is still probably one of the better ones. Hmm, tempting. Is it got the speed boost because of the... No? I thought maybe the speed was because of my gem box. It must be because of my magic armor, actually. Wow. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm just learning about magic sets. I, I want to be all prepared before we go down there. So I think those two spells will be a good start. Um, I want to upgrade my fire, my or my bolt and my ice later on, but I need a lot of souls for that. And, yeah, well, fire, Flower of Fire, 55 damage instead of Cursed Flames. Hmm, it's actually a little bit better, isn't it? Although Cursed Flames light them on uh, Cursed Flames, like, almost, I think most enemies can be lit on fire with Cursed Flames, whereas fire only works on certain enemies. No upgrades. Oh, that's right, there is there is some upgrades I was looking at for some of these spells, too. Um, like, Demon's... Sigh turns into Devil Sigh. 
And what else did I see while I was looking around? Maybe that was the main one. Do I want Mythical Celestial Storm or Celestial Crystal Storm? 12 damage, less mana, 15% damage, way slower. Hmm. We'll go with this for now. Alright, anyway, I'll stop messing around. Let's go try some magic down in the depths. Let's, let's continue our adventure. I've, I've already wasted like 15 minutes. Half an episode just playing around with like whatever I've got. Alright. So we're going to try some magic out. Now, I didn't really get magic accessories other than the gem box. If I really wanted to buff it up, there's other things I should equip too. But uh, let's just go with Crystal Storm. Let's see how this does down here. It's been a long time since I've done like magic fighting. So... Get the feeling there's a warlock over there. Those things are always dangerous. Wow, I am taking a lot of damage. I don't know how how much damage am I really doing? Am I killing stuff good here? Nice long range magic. I suppose it depends a lot on like what uh, what enemies you're fighting, how good it is. I don't know if it's going to work good enough. I already missed my spear, to be honest. <laughs> I went with the adamantite magic armor. I'm like, eh, I just missed my spear. Let's go with some cursed flames. Oops. Bad aim. I'm actually going to die if I'm not really, really careful here. Well, I've definitely lit it on fire. And then I died, of course. Yeah, the cursed flames, that flame effect seems to do a lot of damage. That's nice. I just gotta get used to it, guys. <laughs> the magic armor could be really powerful. Could definitely be very powerful. Okay, there we go. I just need a way to, like, regenerate magic faster. Mana. There we go. Except I'm almost dead again. Ah! I missed my spear. Maybe I'm just a melee guy. I, maybe I should just acknowledge... I'm just a melee guy. I'm gonna die again. Wow. Okay, so far switching to magic hasn't magic armor hasn't really worked out for me super well. <laughs> I'll keep trying, guys. I know. I really want to show off more magic. I just uh, I don't know. What's what's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong with magic? Do I just have to play really cautiously, like like spend all my time just. Cast a couple spells, heal up my mana. Cast a couple spells, heal up my mana. I mean, I like the effect of this gem box. That's awesome. But, uh... Let's open this up. Oh, Hellfire Arrows. Cursed Bullets. Cool. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe this is better for, like, certain bosses or something. I mean, that, that does a lot of damage. A mimic. Oops. <laughs> of course, if you miss your angle, you waste an awful lot of mana like that. <laughs> hmm. Tricky, tricky. Do I get the hang of it? Maybe I should just cast like a few and then let him like bounce around and kill stuff, maybe? Is that, is that the trick? We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying to get the hang of it. I mean, that's got to do a lot of damage. I hit, like, almost every one of his little sections. I don't know. Maybe it's not that good. <laughs> Maybe you really do need, like, the level 4 spells before magic is awesome. Oh, well, the, the good thing is now I have the armor sets. So even if I don't like it too much at the moment, I can always, uh, I can always switch back later if I want to. Hello, worms. I mean, this is pretty cool. I, I gotta say, this is this is bad. Feels like the enemies are respawning though, like as fast as I can kill them practically. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I get used to it or not. Come on. 
I mean, this spear just does so much damage. I don't know. It's hard to imagine the magic really out DPSing this thing right now, to be honest. All it's got is nice range, even with the double shot. And that one, I don't know, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as the fire even, actually. Hmm. Probably just using the wrong spells for this kind of enemy. Alright, well let's keep going. Not done yet. Haven't given up on magic. It's just, it's no Bolt 4. I'm, I guess I'm just spoiled with Bolt 4. It's pretty good at clearing out the room so I can see the, like, I can see what's going on. Want to regenerate my mana nice and quick. Okay, that's, that's doing some good damage. That's got to compete with the, uh, the spear. Yeah, that killed that guy pretty good. Looks like a shadow chest over here. Oh, another set. Oh, another set of adamantite. So now I could make the melee set if I wanted. Oh, that's 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 tempting as well, guys. I have been tempted. This game is trying to make me change my mind over and over. I've already got the helmets. Let's just bring one melee helmet. Hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, I can't decide. What do I want to do? <laughs> so much fun. Oh, this looks like a boss room. I bet you this is our next boss room. Well, we can try fighting it with the magic. Um, there's a demon altar over there. There's a shadow chest over here. All oh, right, those guys have no like knockback. Well, that was pretty good. That that was pretty awesome. And we got more magic stuff. All right, probably the ingredients to summon the I summon the boss. I bet you. Tends to work that way. Do more magic crystals or the equipment or the. Uh, Ingredients to, I don't know, like, make more magic spells. So I do have water walk on right now. I must have the potion with me. I can dig out that way. Another heart down there. Is there no signs around here to explain? An altar. Dude, this is quite a long area. Is that another one? Wow, two shadow chests. Awesome. Um, light discs. Oh, I really like that weapon, actually. I mean, it's not the most effective, necessarily, but I like the idea of it. Also, the mana magic stuff is good for... for if I'm going to use the, the magic spells, I'll want to use the magic potions ahead of time, too. That'll help out. Mana regen and all that. You know the drill. Um, do, do, do. What can I drop? Um... Musket balls. Who cares about musket balls? I was just using those to practice. Okay. Before I drown, get out of there. Alright, here's the sign. Oh, life tomb. Just something else. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have picked up the stuff to crack to fight another boss. Pretty sure. Let's, uh... No, let's go over to the, uh, demon altar and see if I've actually got the stuff. There's a lot of hearts down there, too. Okay, let's see. What do I got? What do I got? Da da da. All the cool Omnir's weapons. Bolts. I actually have almost enough to make the uh, the melee set right now. Essence of mana. That sounds good, too. Imagine how much mana. I wonder what the max mana you could get. Can you get up to like 500 or 1,000 or something? Um, mana bomb. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I can't actually craft the next boss item yet. Do, do, do. I don't see it. It just seems like this is definitely a boss room. So, oh well. Maybe it's not a boss room. Two shadow chests though. I think that was a pretty good score. 
do do let's go left first to the right there there was a way to the right but it was like blocked by a uh, um well it wasn't blocked per se but I could have just dug through it with my drill of course now I'm going to be missing my uh my blue armor going through this kind of stuff cuz I'm going to drown if I don't come on blue fly away fly away free there you go good job blue Let's, uh, I mean, the light disc is so much fun. Um, it doesn't do the most damage or anything, but I always thought this was a cool weapon. Multi-boomerang, basically. And it's basically from Tron, which is pretty awesome. Okay, let's, let's curse these guys. Prepare to be cursed. Oops, that was a bad place to stand. <laughs> ah, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So where are we going now? Um, huh, okay, well, I'll read the sign. You hear crackling embers that sound like it's coming from a fireplace. Maybe there's a place to rest up. Or maybe it's a trap. A lot of stuff is traps. There we go. This does better against one enemy, I think. Against like a big room of enemies. Oh, this will be the boss fighting room. Good. Lair of the Hunter. You remember the wizard telling you about this place? That to awaken this demon, you must dive to the bottom of the lake and make a sacrifice to the gods. Before you dive below, you have a sudden feeling of, your, of the presence of your wife Elizabeth. You look to the edges of the lake for any signs of her, but nothing. I love you, my dear, you think to yourself. I don't know if you're still alive, but I will find you in this life or the next. All right, so that's what we need to craft it, plus water walking potions. All right. So this is our next boss. Just looking at the room right now, see uh, how much space we've got and everything. Looks like kind of boring top of the top of the dungeon, top top of the room. Okay. What I will want to do quickly is head back to town. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna lose my original teleporter that I was saving from all the way back last episode. Oh well. It's time to give it up. Alright, so what I need to do is stack some of this stuff away and prepare for a magic fight. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the hunter is the third and final, like, bird boss. Um, so, I fought the phoenix type thing, the rage, as well as um, the sorrow. And they were both, um, you know... Uh, flying. You know, I, I imagine this guy's going to do the same kind of stuff anyway. Flying and diving at me and all that. Let's say I actually have enough. I could craft my melee armor. Uh, I'll save that for after. If I really need to, I'll have that available. Do -do -do. Sorry for the delay, folks. Oh, we're almost at... T oh, you know what? I should probably just uh, end the episode. You know what? Never mind. I've got enough room. Let's just quickly toss some stuff away here that I won't need. Um, I can sort this out later, probably, if I remember. Um, all I need, all I need, really, is the potions, and uh, then we'll be ready to go here. So let's go grab a couple potions, and then do the fight. So I want magic power. I don't have a whole lot of these, so I don't want to bring all of them. And mana regen is super, super important. Lots of those. I've still got night owls. Anything else for this kind of fight? Um, oh, water walking. But there were some in the chest, so we're fine. Okay, let's do it. A little bit longer episode, just so I can put a fight in. I'm, I'm, I feel for you guys, because you had to watch me play around um, trying to equip stuff at the beginning. Loot all. There we go. Yeah, I, I feel a little bit bad for at the beginning of the episode. Uh, I spent a bunch of time sort of messing around. Okay, am I close enough? am indeed. So I can craft... No? Not close enough? Must not be close enough. Okay. Right on. Okay, so. What's the item? There we go. Greasy egg. Sacrifice this at a demon altar in the jungle far to the west. Am I not supposed to fight it right here? Pretty sure you generally fight it right where you craft the item. Maybe the text is not updated from something else. Lair of the Hunter. Yeah. Grassy egg summons the hunter. Okay, good enough for me. 
I've got water walking. We're gonna start with uh, crystal crystal shards. All right. So he's got more HP than the other guys did. Oh, he already went to rage mode. Wow. That was fast. Are you in rage again? Oh yeah, he's raging for sure. Raging against the machine. All right. Well, I like this room because it's nice and big. So I'm 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 in, I'm happy with that. I don't like how easily he rages on me though. <laughs> Let's see if I can light him on fire and then go back to crystal shards. Okay. Oh, I love how fast the regeneration for mana is with that potion on. Well, so far this spell seems to be doing pretty good. Um, well, he's still got a long way to go, but... Anything that can put him in rage mode that quickly has to be doing pretty good DPS. Where are you? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was that was really fast. <laughs> uh, if he keeps doing that, I'm going to be hurting, actually, so... Just keep our distance for a little while here. Maybe try to light him on fire. And try to stay alive. Come on. Come on, Blue. Dodge. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Just lay him on fire. Get out of the way. Keep your distance. And then try to heal up. Eight seconds. We're almost at heal time. Come on. Just give me a second. Just, just give me a second. There we go. All right, you know what I forgot? I forgot my uh, healing, like my, my health regeneration potions. Those have been really good. So as much as the crystal storm is pretty awesome, it seems like it has like too much damage. And I can't heal fast enough if he rages on me. I didn't even dodge. This guy definitely does more damage than the uh, previous versions. Definitely does a lot more damage, because I'm going to spend half this fight just running away trying to dodge him. Well, and then his little vine things hit me, so that sucks. Come on. Ah, I got stuck on a... Well, I'm going to die, so this armor maybe not the way to go. I know what will work, though. Bet you the crystal bullets work. They always work. Okay. Just don't get hit. Don't get hit. Got my potion. All right, we're still alive. We're still alive. He's almost halfway dead. I mean, we're not doing horrible. I, I'm happy this room is larger than the previous ones, but I've still got 45 seconds to go. Oh, there's just no way. Lots of little things to get stuck on up on the roof. Okay, come on. Oh, he raged even with that. Wow. Now, it's not that he's particularly hard to rage or to dodge while he's in rage mode, whatever it's called, enraged. Um, it's just that he does so much more damage if he hits me. I'm like I can't heal fast enough, basically, um, and I'm gonna die here right now anyway. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Ten seconds. Uh, nope. <laughs> the miracle sprouter, hey? Well, shoot. It's just a little bit too much for old blue with that armor on. 12,000 souls. Um, I think I'll end the episode here on that disappointing note. And uh, I'll prepare for battle next time. And uh, I will see you guys there. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And have a great day.